Let's talk about the Athenian Empire, which many times is associated with the Golden Age of Athens, a time where philosophy, arts, and literature flourished. And it also corresponds to the rise of the Athenian Navy. It originally emerged from the Delian League which was an alliance of city-states predominantly headed by Athens. The Athenian Empire lasted from 479 BCE to 431 BCE or 404. These correspond to the start and end of the Peloponnesian wars, which essentially ended the dominance of Athens over the other Greek city-states. So this would be corresponded to the end of the Athenian Empire. These The wars were between Sparta, located here, and Athens located here. Sparta headed the Peloponnesian League. So you have your so quasi Delian League versus the Peloponnesian League. So the two predominant powers are fighting for supremacy. During this golden age, Athens was led by Pericles, a statesman and general, and he promotes this cultural center, but he dies in 429 BCE, and with his death, Athens begins to decline. The two sides attempt to end the Peloponnesian Wars with the Peace of Nicaea in 421 BCE, but this was undermined and they went back to war. The final battle occurred at Igos Potami. This was in 405 BCE and it led to the destruction the destruction of the aforementioned navy which in turn destroyed Athens power over all of the different Greek city-states and other islands which it had originally dominated because of its great naval strength. This led to the rise of Sparta as the predominant power in Greece and this corresponded to the end of the Golden Age of Athens and the end of the Athenian Empire. Thank you for listening.